we're going to be doing stuff with electricity today. So before we start with the activity, what are some things that you know about electricity already that you want to share? Yeah. Okay, so if you have something that has electricity in it and you do something to it, uh -huh. and then there's something connected to it, uh -huh. and you touch the thing like to yourself, uh -huh. you're, you'll go... If it's metal. Uh, <laughs> if it has enough electricity. If it has enough electricity, yes. So like if I take this battery right now and oh, I touch it, am tongue. I going to go poof? No. Yeah. No. The Spectrum Discovery Area is a hands-on science center. We are a program of the University of Montana. We're excited to get kids interested in higher education and possibly careers in science or technology and really just inspiring them to be curious about the world around them. Since 2007, Spectrum's been traveling exhibits across the state and to rural and tribal communities, and we were really thankful to the funding from the Martin Family Foundation to think about how we expanded our making and tinkering programs to bring to the Bitterroot Valley. So what are you going to craft? Do you have any ideas? What, what are some things that you've done before? Somebody else want to share? There's a growing field in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and we want to prepare students, especially in Montana, to be ready for those careers and to be aware of the opportunities available to them. We add often STEAM, so adding the A is arts. Students need to have that creative thinking component as well to be able to think outside the box and be creative. And let's see if we can get some light up. I'm not like a school person, I'm not a real teacher, I just like play one on Tuesdays in the Bitterroot. What we're going to do is we will work in groups to create our own little squishy circuits. You know, it's really just bringing in ideas from areas that you may not think to look for uh, creative solutions to problems. That is definitely what the, the tinkering aspect is. It's like thinking about, okay, how can I come at this from a way that may not be expected and that's innovative. That one's not jumping between two things, so it's not gonna light up. Sometimes the first time I go, they're just like, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? I don't tell them what to do next. I say, what do you think you need to do next? You don't wanna steal their struggle, because that's important, right? The, the struggling to persist through this problem We'll set them up so that when they have another problem with something like bigger in their lives, they'll persist through that. Like I like it whenever I'm challenged because it's it's easy but not easy at the same time. When most of the time you don't have that much of instruction, so it's easy to follow along. I love hands-on learning. I mean, it's it's what it's what every kid needs. Making and tinkering, one of the biggest things that I've seen is it allows those kids that are not necessarily academic to show their creativity and their ingenuity where you don't get to see that necessarily maybe in their reading. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I've never seen a, play, a, a crayon rendered in Play-Doh. We're excited with their making and tinkering programs in the Bitterroot to be working both in the schools alongside teachers and then as well with the funding from the Gene S. Heeman Foundation to be able to bring that making and tinkering program to community sites throughout the summer. Today we're hosting another Summer of Science event. The Summer of Science group comes to different places in the valley and so all of the valley's children get an opportunity to meet with this group and do these fun STEM activities. This program is very important to the library because our children would not have the opportunity to work with this group of professionals in fun and engaging ways to do these STEM activities throughout the summer. It gives the kids an opportunity to get excited about science with somebody who can answer their questions, they can create with them, they can problem solve, they build things together. It's really fun to watch them work with these scientists. So whenever you're punching in between the tab and the bottom like that? Well, we like it because it's um, fun and creative for the kids and it keeps them learning throughout the summertime and it gives us a sense of community. We made lip balm and a seed ball. It's really fun and I like to use my brain to solve problems. So I volunteer for the Summer of Science and other activities. One, it's a way to give back to the community. And then specifically for our pharmacy program, just to teach the upcoming generations what pharmacy is about. Science is so important to everything we do. 
from the plants that we grow in our garden, the food we eat, medications, all sorts of things. So it's really nice that the, that the kids get a chance to learn about that. Put the negative in here, the positive end like that, right? So here, you see how bright it is? Yeah. You can kind of see how it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. We do professional development workshop every single year where they come for like a two-day training to learn about the activities that we have available that they can do and they can learn from their peers. The work that Nick has been doing working with the teachers has been really amazing and to help build capacity for teachers within the schools to continue to provide this programming into the future so that it's built into their curriculum and have the supplies and the resources that they need to do that. I think that this project is providing an opportunity for us to really create with the community and to be responsive to the needs that the, the Bitterroot Valley has and, and the interests that they have. Having these Making and Tinkering classes available really does have a positive impact on our community. Having kids who are creative, who are invested in their learning, um, can't help but have a positive impact on their community later. It's building their confidence and giving them that different strategy, the different way for them to learn and the pride in them. It's so amazing to see, look what I did, and it's just, it's pretty cool.